As we stand on the threshold of another year, have you ever wondered how to achieve any goal in 2024? In the quest for our aspirations, we may often overlook a potent tool at our disposal, our faith. Trusting in our faith in the divine providence can be a powerful catalyst in the pursuit of our goals. Consider the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. They provide profound wisdom that can guide us on our journey. His teachings remind us of the importance of perseverance, humility, and sincerity, virtues that can illuminate our path towards achieving our goals. Let's take a moment to reflect on the life of Khalid bin Walid, a companion of the Prophet. His success in battles was not just a result of his strategic brilliance or unparalleled courage. It was his unwavering faith that often tipped the scales in his favor. He trusted his faith more than his capabilities, acknowledging that human endeavor is only successful with divine support. This is not to say that we must abandon our efforts and rely solely on faith. On the contrary, our faith should fortify our efforts. It should give us the confidence to embark on challenging journeys, the resilience to face obstacles, and the wisdom to navigate through them. Our faith should also imbue us with humility. It should remind us that our achievements are not just a result of our efforts, but also a manifestation of divine grace. This humility can keep our ego in check, enabling us to remain focused on our goals and not get swayed by temporary successes or setbacks. Moreover, trusting in our faith can provide us with a sense of peace and contentment. It can help us stay patient and composed in the face of adversity, knowing that every challenge is an opportunity for growth, every failure a lesson learned, and every success a blessing received. So, as we prepare to step into the new year, let's trust our faith more than ever. Let's allow it to guide us, strengthen us, and inspire us on our journey towards achieving our goals. Remember, trusting your faith is the first step towards achieving your goals. In the pursuit of goals, we must acknowledge Allah's blessings. This statement is not just about gratitude, but it's also about recognizing that our achievements aren't solely the result of our own capabilities. We must remember that every success is a testament to the blessings Allah has bestowed upon us. It's easy to get caught up in the thrill of achievement and overlook the divine assistance that has been instrumental in our journey. But this is a crucial part of the process. We need to humble ourselves and realize that it's not just our efforts, but also Allah's favor that enables us to reach our goals. Moreover, we must have confidence in Allah's plans for us. We should seek His guidance and help in our endeavors. Remember, having faith in Allah's plans can make the journey towards achieving our goals not only easier, but also more meaningful. In every success, acknowledge Allah's blessings and have unwavering confidence in His plans. So in life, we often face unexpected turns and twists. Life is a journey filled with unpredictable paths, and sometimes we are met with trials and tribulations that can seem insurmountable. But it is in these moments of hardship where we discover our true strength and resilience. As we traverse these hardships, it's vital to recognize and accept the emotions that arise. Anger, sadness, fear, they are all part of the human experience. Instead of suppressing these feelings, allow yourself to experience them, but do not let them consume you. Use them as stepping stones, as catalysts for growth and understanding. In the midst of our trials, it can be easy to feel lost, to question our purpose. Yet it is precisely in these moments where we should seek solace in our faith. The teachings of the Prophet Muhammad provide us guidance through these challenging times. They remind us that our fate is in Allah's hands and that suffering is not without purpose. We are taught to find strength in our faith, to turn to prayer in times of distress, and to continually praise Allah, regardless of our circumstances. By doing so, we acknowledge the divine wisdom behind our trials, and we find peace in knowing that Allah's plans for us are always for the best. When we accept the course of our lives, we allow ourselves to find meaning in our suffering. We understand that our trials are not punishments, but rather opportunities for spiritual growth and self-discovery. They are a means to refine our character, to cultivate patience and resilience, and to draw us closer to Allah. In fact, it is often through our most challenging moments 
that we experience the most profound personal growth. We become stronger, more resilient, and more in tune with our faith. We learn to see our trials not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and spiritual enlightenment. So, when faced with adversity, remember to embrace the journey, accept the course of events, find meaning in your suffering, and draw strength from your faith. Remember, our fate is in Allah's hands, and finding strength in faith is crucial. Trust in His wisdom and know that every trial is a stepping stone towards a stronger, more resilient you. Difficulties are not roadblocks, but stepping stones towards growth. Life is a journey filled with twists and turns, and it is through these trials and tribulations that we find our strength. It's in these difficult moments when we feel like we're against the ropes that we must remember to lean on our faith and trust in Allah's wisdom. Through hardship, we learn to persevere. We develop resilience, a quality that not only carries us through life's challenges, but also brings us closer to Allah. It's through this lens of faith that we find solace and strength in adversity. Our surroundings also play a significant role in shaping our well-being. A peaceful physical environment, supportive social circle, and strong spiritual foundation can fortify us against life's trials. These elements create a cocoon of serenity that bolsters our resolve, fosters our growth, and nurtures our connection with Allah. Accept difficulties, for they bring us closer to Allah and make us stronger. Remember this as you navigate the journey of life. The environment you live in significantly impacts your well-being. Imagine waking up to the chirping of birds, the rustling of leaves, or the serene sound of waves crashing against the shore. Think about how you would feel living in a space that exudes tranquility, where peace is not just an abstract concept, but a tangible reality. This is the power of a peaceful environment. It acts as a soothing balm to our tired minds and stressed souls. A peaceful environment doesn't necessarily mean a green space or a quiet beach. It could be your home, where each object is placed intentionally, where clutter is minimal, where soft, calming colors dominate. It could be your workspace, free of distractions, where you can focus and be productive. Surrounding yourself with peace isn't just about physical spaces. It's also about the people you interact with and the thoughts that occupy your mind. Foster relationships with individuals who uplift you, who inspire you, who bring out the best in you. Fill your mind with positive thoughts, with gratitude, with hope. Now let's talk about visualizing your goals. Visualization is a powerful practice used by successful individuals across the globe. It's about creating a mental picture of your goals, of the life you aspire to live. It's about seeing yourself achieving your goals, feeling the emotions associated with that success. And this isn't just daydreaming. It's about making your goals so real in your mind that your brain starts working towards making them a reality. Use your peaceful environment for this visualization. Sit in your favorite spot, take a few deep breaths, quiet in your mind and start visualizing. See yourself reaching that finish line, acing that exam, making that presentation. Feel the joy, the satisfaction, the pride. Do this regularly and you'll start seeing changes. You'll feel more motivated, more focused, more confident. Surrounding yourself with peace is a step closer to achieving your goals. So, create that peaceful environment. Visualize your success and watch as you move steadily towards your goals. Your journey to success in 2024 has just become a little bit easier. Rituals are more than habits. They shape our subconscious. Now imagine having a goal, a dream that you're striving to achieve. The power of rituals can be instrumental in reaching your desired destination. Rituals day in and day out, they shape our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our lives. You see, consistency is key here. It's not about making massive changes all at once, but rather about making small, consistent efforts that accumulate over time. Alongside this, recognize the immense inner power that lies within you. This is not just any power. It's a divine gift bestowed upon us. It's a force that can move mountains if only we learn to harness it effectively. You might be wondering, how does one tap into this power? The answer is simple, through dedication. Dedicate yourself to your rituals, commit to them wholeheartedly, 
and observe as they begin to shape your life. Repeat your rituals with dedication and see your goals turn into realities. Goals that don't challenge you won't change you. So let's dive into the importance of setting ambitious targets. You see, you're like a diamond under pressure. The more you push yourself, the brighter you shine. But it's not just about setting difficult goals, it's about being aware of what's holding you back. Take for example your phone. It's a wonderful tool, but it can also be a distraction. Are you spending more time scrolling than working towards your goals? If so, it's time to take action. Set limits, create phone-free zones, and prioritize your time. Remember, every moment you spend absorbed in your screen is a moment you could be using to better yourself. So, set those engaging goals, the ones that make you a little nervous, the ones that force you to grow. Step out of your comfort zone and embrace the challenge. Challenge yourself daily and watch yourself grow. Challenges are the keys to personal growth. This is a powerful statement that holds true for anyone looking to achieve their goals. The path to success is rarely smooth and often requires us to face and overcome obstacles that stand in our way. Let's consider this. A seed must first endure the harsh conditions beneath the soil before it can sprout and bloom. Similarly, a diamond only forms under intense pressure. These examples from nature are metaphors for our lives. We too must face challenges and pressures to truly grow and shine. So how do we go about embracing challenges for personal growth? The first step is to identify a personal challenge. It could be anything from improving a skill to overcoming a fear or even changing a detrimental habit. Once you've identified your challenge, commit to overcoming it. This commitment is a promise to yourself and a step towards personal growth. Now commitment alone is not enough. It's where resilience comes into play. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to keep going when things get tough. It's about having the mental toughness to push through the obstacles that stand between you and your goals. Next is determination. Determination is the steadfast pursuit of your goal, no matter how difficult the journey. It's about not giving up, even when the odds seem stacked against you. It's about having the grit to keep moving forward, one step at a time. Finally, we have boldness. Boldness is about stepping out of your comfort zone and taking risks. It's about daring to lose sight of the shore to discover new horizons. It's about having the courage to face the unknown, to venture into uncharted territory. So remember, challenges are not roadblocks, but opportunities for growth. They shape us, refine us, and make us stronger. They compel us to dig deep within ourselves, to discover our true potential and realize our capabilities. Embrace challenges for they are the stepping stones to success and personal growth.